More than a week of street battles between the rebels and the military in Marawi have killed at least 100 people. An air and ground assault is underway to drive the militants out of the city. Well, let's get the latest from Neil Tarazona, who's following the story from the Philippines. Uh, Noel, what exactly happened here? Yes, uh, Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana held a press conference this morning and he confirmed that 10 Philippine soldiers were killed and seven others were wounded by the airstrike that is supposed to target militant positions. He claimed that the operation was a surgical airstrike, but the first one hit the target of position, but the second one missed the target, but instead killed the soldiers. Airstrikes are still ongoing in Marawi City targeting militants' position. Secretary Lorenzana said that mistake happens and they will investigate the airstrikes and see if there was a failure of coordination between the Philippine Air Force and the Philippine Army, or it could be a pilot error. And he also had said he will release the investigation report in three to five days. Um, Secretary Lorenzano also said during the press conference this morning that they are now exploring to use armored vehicles instead of the airstrikes as a result of the death of the seven soldiers, I mean 10 soldiers. Lorenzano said that 21 armored vehicles arrived today in Marawi and will be deployed in the battle zone anytime. Lorenzana also confirmed that there were 500 militants who occupied Marawi, but according to him, there are only 100, 100 militants remaining in the city of Marawi. And Noel, it's drawn attention to the conflict in that region. Put it into some context for us. What exactly has been happening there? Yes, the, uh, earlier the armed forces of the Philippines estimated that there were 100 militants who originally occupied. But just this morning, Secretary Lorenzana said that there were actually 500 militants who originally occupied Marawi City and their original plan to really capture, uh, to take over the city government of Marawi. Uh, Defense Secretary Delphine Lorzana said that he already released the order to arrest 140 members, supporters, sympathizers, protesters, and even spies of the Maute militant groups. And he said, though martial law is declared in Mindanao, the warrant of arrest is still in effect, even if the suspect is outside Mindanao. Lorenzana also said that the arrest can be made outside Mindanao, and he announced that 18 militant suspects already submitted themselves to the National Bureau of Investigation to clear their names that they are not members of the militant group.